Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sheila targets Brooke next, Ridge desperate to protect his family. The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease that Sheila Carter will target Brooke Logan next after Steffi Forrester skips down with the kids in tow. Brooke learns that her ex, Deacon Sharp, has been hiding the monster in his apartment. She unleashes her fury on Hope Logan's dad, hoping to talk some sense into him. It's only a matter of time before Brooke learns about Sheila and Deacon's relationship. Carter Walton and Ridge Forrester are hot on the ex-convict's trail. They corner Deacon and warn him that there will be consequences if he doesn't help them find Sheila. Carter will likely tell Katie Logan about Deacon's connection to Sheila. He might ask her to keep it herself, but the Logan sisters don't keep secrets from each other. Brooke won't hold her anger back when she learns Deacon is entertaining a relationship with Sheila. She will confront Deacon about what she discovered, but he will deny it. He will likely tell her he hasn't seen her since her prison release. Brooke won't believe him. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that Brooke will put herself in the line of fire after Sheila overhears her ordering Deacon to end the relationship with her. She will decide that Brooke cannot take the only person left in her life. She will come up with a fatal plan to eliminate Brooke. She will rush to tell Brooke the scoop, who will then urge Deacon to dump the nine-toe lunatic. Ridge Forrester must protect his family. Ridge learns that Brooke could be in trouble. He's been worried about Steffi and the kids, not even considering that Brooke could be Sheila's next target. He vows to keep Brooke safe, no matter what it takes. B&B &B spoilers say that Ridge is glad that Steffi left town, but now he worries Sheila's next target is his fiance. He knows it won't end well because Sheila has nothing to lose. B&B &B fans, do you think Ridge will stop Sheila from hurting Brooke and the rest of his family? Keep watching Bold and the Beautiful, airing weekdays on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Ridge predicts the future the Bold and the Beautiful spoilers validate that Steffi Forrester Finnegan retains the determination she has projected since Nonage. Ridge Forrester's knows that when pushed, she'll jump. Cleverly drafted companion scenes had Ridge telling Liam Spank the point of the verbal flashback was to remind Liam that when Steffi is challenged, she'll storm ahead. Intransigence is a particularity Ridge lately substantiated when speaking with his pater, Eric Forrester. The Forrester papas agreed that Steffi inherited the bent station from her grandmother, the late Stephanie Forrester, or about Steffi breaking her arm when she was a child, and they were on holiday in the hills of Greece. Stephanie Forrester would bite Sheila Carter up, Eric told Ridge, that Stephanie would bite Sheila Carter over and spear her out if Flannery's character were still alive. While Stephanie was leery of Sheila, she approached that challenge else than Steffi did. Devoted observers know that Steffi is thrown out course whenever Sheila is physically present. Steffi originally slighted her unwanted mama, in-law hard across the face during her and John Finn Finnegan's marriage event. That happened after Finn introduced Sheila as his birth mama, not knowing of the violent backstory numerous characters present at that event participated with Brown's notorious alter pride. But just as suckers know what it's like to go on without vital people in their life who are ultimately lost, so too does Eric, Ridge, and Steffi know what it's like dealing with the Sheila trouble without Stephanie present to help guide them or to take the fight to her. Ridge Forrester's two-position discussion Ridge went to see Liam at Spencer Publications. Unlike the visits Ridge's son and Steffi's aged family, Thomas Forrester had with Liam, Clifton's character ate his one-time father, in-law. Liam couldn't deny that Ridge asked honest questions and made sense when speaking about how they demanded to respond to Steffi now. The father of Steffi's son, Kelly Spencer, also said that he didn't know how to handle current circumstances. The resemblant point of Ridge and Liam's discussion was also to prognosticate the immediate future. Steffi is teased to leave Los Angeles, California, latterly this week, so she'll jump out of Finn's life because of what's passing with Shyla. Jacqueline McKinn's Wood's World is great compendiums of this comprehensive cleaner point know that Wood took to her social media account and blazoned that she gave birth to her fourth child, a boy whom she and her hubby named Valor James Rispoli. The actor is a mama to four sons, 
Observers tasted that developments with Sheila were creating a plot stroke for Steffi to leave for a temporary period. So Wood's motherliness leave, which began weeks ago, and the possibility that advanced scenes may have been recorded before she left the set, indicate that Steffi will exit the precipice house again. She's teased to go to Europe. Steffi intends to cover her children from the Sheila trouble and could be seen sporadically into the fall until Wood returns from leave on B&B. &B. Tanner Steffi felt she had to walk out on her hubby because of Sheila but it's not like Finn, played by Tanner Novlin, made it an easy decision. The bold and the beautiful croaker stood up to his psychotic mama and in trouble to make his woman feel safe. Cleaner Mecca is handing Novlin Performer of the Week for B&B &B honors to the actor for his important performance. Pantomime of the Week Finn's not the first man to be caught between a strong woman and a controlling mama, but of course, his situation is a bit unique. Gun, carrying Shayla shot not only Finn but Steffi too. Thanks to a legal ramification and a lot of good luck, Sheila managed to walk free. Dispensable to say, Steffi is fearful about living her day, to day life with Sheila being on the loose. Plus, she keeps showing up at her home, and it's not to see the fabulous view. Sheila simply won't go down. Rather than try to reason with Sheila during her last cryptic call to the precipice house, Finn brought her into the living room so that the situation could be dealt with instantly. In the history, Finn leaned into having sympathy for Sheila. At first, the two women battered back and forth, and we were left wondering whether Finn was going to show kindness to his mama again or not. Happily, Finn sided with his woman. Tanner Novlin brought inconceivable strength and passion to Finn as the good croaker, blasted his mama for her once conduct and let her know they had no future. You. Can't. Be. Then, Finn forcefully and sluggishly told Sheila. Naturally, Sheila went into her rights to have an alternate chance, routine but Finn wasn't hearing it. You shot us. That doesn't just go down. Don't come anywhere near us, Kelly or Hayes. Finn placarded. Steffi was pleased to see Finn draw a firm line in the beach. Sheila, of course, no way met a line she was hysterical to cross. She demanded more satisfying. As the scenes progressed, Sheila kept pushing and pushing, pointing out that Steffi had taken the kitties and left their home. This needed Finn to rise to the challenge. He did. You need to go, Finn said as Novlin dropped his voice to emphasize how serious he was. Steffi didn't use you as in reason. She was hysterical for herself and the children because far and wide that I go you follow me. Like right then, right now. You know what? That ends moment. I am not going to ask you again. Leave. I'm not going to allow you to terrify Steffi presently. Go. Knowing his establishment words might not be enough, Finn used sense to get Sheila Togo. However, she'd say goodbye if she truly loved him. Go. Leave and promise me that we will no way hear from you again," he stated. A dejected Sheila eventually got the communication. She retreated and exited out the frontal door. Despite Finn making it 100 clear that Sheila isn't welcome in his life, an exhausted Steffi still feels she needs to leave City with Kelly and Hayes for their safety. She has some thinking to do and needs to feel safe. Steffi doesn't doubt Finn's sincerity or love, but she isn't sure that indeed that can stop Sheila. In time, we suspect that the couple's love will endure and lead to a reunion. Laurels to Tanner Novlin for bringing similar intensity toter. John Finn Finnegan. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.